Hey friends, this is the Miss Avofi from our Half Acre Homestead and this weekend is Canadian Thanksgiving and I'm going to start preparing my turkey and my duck for turducken. Okay, first you're going to need a really good boning knife. Now what I have here is a home-raised turkey and a home-raised duck. Now folks, if you see little black marks and stuff, it's because my turkey is a heritage turkey and it had colored feathers, okay? It didn't have, um, it doesn't have all white feathers. And our duck does not look like a store-bought duck either. It's got little feather things in it too. But that's okay because we're gonna, not going to use hardly any of the duck skin. We don't want it to be that greasy. Okay, so let's start with the more difficult job, tur the turkey. Why are we doing the turkey first? Well, first, that's the first layer. And secondly, it is, uh, we're, we're only partially deboning it. And if you're asking, folks, this is turtle. Rockstar went to my cousin Dee Dee. Okay, so this is obviously going to be done, this, this video obviously is going to be done in parts. Why? Because Thanksgiving, today's only, you know, it's beginning of the week and we're doing it on Sunday. I've take, also taken the precaution of covering my, even my plastic tablecloth with a heavy duty plastic so that it'll be easy for cleanup. Okay, so I'm going to just put my fingers in here and feel the spine. So let's start here. And we're going to very, now the part, the thing about the turkey in the turducken, okay, we're going to go down this side of the spine, is you don't have to completely debone the turkey because we're going to leave the wings and just the drumsticks for appearances. I would have tried to debone the entire duck, but my friend Noreen said, and then left the skin on, but my friend Noreen from Noreen's Kitchen said, no, 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 you do not want to leave the skin on the duck. It'll be very, very, very greasy. And I'm just going to go around the Pope's nose here so that we can. Uh, even have him looking intact. This is really difficult to do it from the back. Why? Because there's not a lot of meat. So you're constantly banging the bone. So I recommend that you have a really good knife sharpener handy. I have never done this before, folks. So keep your fingers crossed. Now this is the joint that holds the wing on. We're just going to try and get down to that. And we want to get down to this. So you can see this knob right here. Now, folks, this isn't a double-breasted turkey, like I said. This isn't one of them, you know, fast-growing puppies. This is a heritage bird. You can see the hip joint right here, this little knob. And that's what we want to loosen because we want to take that bone out. We want to take the thigh bone out. So if we just go along, we please, please, please going to very, very difficultly try and keep this skin intact. And whatever doesn't stay intact, like whatever we take out, we can always cook down with the neck bones and stuff for our stock and gravy. All right, there we go. Let's get that in there. We want to leave as much meat on this bird as possible because after all, that's the point, isn't it? Okay, now I found and I'm just the hip bone, I should say, or the hip joint. And I'm just going to try and detach it because the rib cage will come apart so much easier if I can take the thigh bone out separately. 
be very, very careful, folks. There's a reason why meat cutters wear chainmail gloves. And the last thing I need right now is stitches in my hand a few days just before Thanksgiving. Folks, do not try and thaw, then do this and refreeze the meat. You are running the risk of food poisoning. These were just butchered yesterday. If in doubt, pull out the big guns. There we go. Now that we've detached this bone, this uh, hip joint, we want to do the same with the wing because we're going to leave this wing intact. We are going to take this thigh bone out or we're going to try anyway. We don't want the skin broken. All right, we found the knuckle bone or the shoulder joint. We just want to do the same thing with the shoulder joint as we did with the hip joint. Because we want to leave the wings intact. Be very careful, the skin around here is really thin. And I do believe I just detached it. Now, see how that's nice and floppy? Our wing is intact, but it is detached from the rest of the turkey. Now we're gonna go along the rib cage here a little bit. Once you get those detached, it's not so bad. All right, now, to do this thigh bone, I'm just going to go down along the bone. Please watch your fingers, folks. And I'm just going to try and let's start with ligaments because they're what hold the muscle to the bone. We want to make sure they're all out of the way. I'm just going to go down around the bone and kind of push the meat down until we find the joint of the drumstick. And if I speed this film up, folks, please, I'm not doing it incredibly fast, so don't try it. I'm just speeding it up for your convenience. We're almost at that joint. Leave as much meat as you can, and I have found the joint. There it is. going to go up through the tendons and ligaments okay not bad not bad for my first attempt and look see we've left this all intact okay now I'm going to sharpen my knife and see how look at this is skin that's all that is so we got to be really really careful okay I'm going to sharpen my knife and we'll be back okay let's work on the other side and again we're going to do the same thing now just because I had success with the first side it doesn't mean I can rest on my laurels for the second one See how thin that skin is? You really don't want to mistake, make a mistake and cut that. So it pays to take your time. Because guess what folks, I almost decided not to do this because it was going to be too much work. But you know what? I've got, we're going to be like 20 people. And let's pray for good weather because we're doing it outside. Now we can just kind of lift this thigh bone and the joint will eventually expose itself if we're just really, really careful. Point down around. God, you'd almost think I knew what I was doing. And for this, I blame my son, Arthur, 
because when my duck eggs hatched and we thought we were going to have ducks this year, he said, oh, mom, you've got to make a turducken. I said, what the heck's a turducken? So he explained it to me. And of course, then I had to research it. See how nice we're going. We found the joint and we're just going to carefully go. But this is obviously not going to feed 20 people. So we're going to do the little black pig too. Papa is building a ground oven and uh, he's going to do that on video for you. Well, he started it, so but don't throw these away, folks. These are good. You throw them in with the neck to do your stock. Okay, there's our legs and our wings intact. And now we just got to take away the meat. You're going to feel down. You just want to, and again, careful. Just because you think you're in the home stretch doesn't mean you can get sloppy. We just want to go down to the breastbone. go up under this back end here and just cut the meat. I may have messed up some skin there but the beautiful part is, is we are going to sew this back together so sort of. Okay I can feel that breast point there so now we're just going to very carefully Cut the meat away. Like I said, whatever doesn't get, whatever remains on the bone, folks, it's going to go into stock for the gravy. So, the only thing different about this turkey this year, aside from the fact that it's a turducken and not a turkey, is uh, I will be making a gluten free stuffing because of company that is coming that are gluten intolerant. So, I have gone ahead and bought gluten-free bread because honestly folks I just don't have the time right now to make it and still do these videos very 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 carefully I'm just going to scrape the meat away from the breastbone So I can't feel bone anymore and that means I can flip it over and go to the other side. There's the wishbone. Now let's just make sure I'm not going to be cutting any skin with this final piece. I do believe that's just ligaments from the shoulder. And there we go, folks. There is our cavity, our rib cage. And like I said, I'm going to put this in the stock pot and cook that down. Now this looks like a heck of a mess, doesn't it? Okay. Here is the shell of our turducken. Marvelous. I, if I do say so myself. God, you could almost sew him together and stuff him without the rib cage. And I'm going to take a nice piece of parchment. And I'm going to see if I can't just kind of roll this up like a jelly roll so that I can freeze it. And it will make it easier to when I thaw it, it will be ready to go to put the duck and the chicken and all the stuffing inside. So we're just going to roll him up like this. And we're going to put him inside a bag and we're going to freeze him. Look at that, folks. 
a whole turkey in a bread bag. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our half acre homestead with step one of our turducken. Take care, bye-bye.